Hello, I'm Diego, and this is my one year update into the AI and agency you know, automation space. Um, I've been running an agency for the last year almost, and this I want to update you guys and how it has been because I have been requested it on the on the comments from the fourth four months into the AI and automation agency space. So I wanted to make this video. And just to let you know, you guys know, I'm, I'm going to be uploading a lot, a lot of content in the next couple of weeks. So stay up for that. Uh, I'm going to just straight jump into the mirror board and I'm going to share all the lessons. So the, all the things that I should have, have done and you know, my current state, how am I running this business? How am I getting booked calls, et cetera, et cetera, everything. This video would have helped me so much when I started. So you can use this to, to your advantage if you want. Okay, so here we are on the mirror and I'm going to kind of share what I've done in the last, you know, year almost, right? So I'm going to separate this by, okay, so let's talk about the first six months, right? The first six months, um, you know, all I did was kind of learn about, you know, the agency space. I learned about not the agency space, but the AI and automation space. And what I did here is I got wrong. I was wrong about AI, right? Because a lot of people, you know, talk about the AI and automation agency space and they just think about AI. And they think about AI in the wrong way, right? Because I used to think that AI is going to solve a lot. Of, it, it does solve a lot of problems, but not in the way most people think of. And I really researched about a lot about AI and, you know, I went into automations, automations, you know, I, it's make.com. I got very proficient in make.com in the first couple of months and I started automating a bunch of things that were in my personal workflow, right? So the first six months was all about learning these things, right? Or so you need to be learning, but at the same time, you need to be applying what you're learning. And that was my mistake. And when I realized this, it's when uh, it hit and when I actually started, you know, making money and when I actually, you know, started signing clients. The first thing I did after I learned, you know, this, these fundamental automation skills, because you do need these skills. Uh, I don't, I believe in that if you're starting this type of agency, you need some sort of expertise in the field you're offering. So yeah, I, once I understood this, so about month three in, you know, th month three, uh, this is when I actually, you know, signed my first clients. Uh, let me. First clients month three. Okay. So I signed this clients and this client was, you know, free clients. I offered, I offered them to build a chat bar for them, to develop a chat bar for them. It was a friend's, uh, a friend's company, a friend's dad company. And I reached out to them and, and told them I would work for them for free for, you know, in their warehouse because it was, it's an e-commerce e company. And after, you know, identifying some problems, I just wanted to learn, to be honest about the e-commerce industry at first before I was doing this. So it was perfect. So I saw a lot of problems in their, in their business and I saw a lot of opportunities, you know, we can, we could implement AI and, you know, automation in, in their company. So I reached out to the owner, which is my friend's dad. Uh, and you know, I've been working there for three months already. So I had pretty close connection with him. Tell me, okay, cool. Uh, you know, arrange a meeting with the, with the, with the people in charge. And I was like, all right. And that's how I got basically my first clients and I developed, you know, a, a chat bot and, and a bunch of other stuff for them. Okay. And, and this first client was the one that really, really made me realize the value of these systems, which beforehand I was like, okay, this is cool, but you know, let's see how this actually works out. Right. And after this, I was so confident that this is a very valuable service for businesses. Right. And I think this was key to make me, making me realize that, yeah, I can provide value to, to businesses. Okay. Once I get my first clients, I kind of got excited, but started working with these clients again and again and again and again. And I was stuck here. Right. 
because once you get your first client, you kind of, uh, there's two paths you can take. You can do more outreach, more outreach and get more clients. And what a lot of people do is they get stuck here and, you know, work with clients one to one with this same client, right? And, the, and they end up stuck in this loop, which is what happened to me, right? Once, once I got my first clients, I was like, okay, uh, let's keep developing different solutions for them. But I wasn't really doing any outreach, you know, at the beginning that the first thing I, I would have done is outreach definitely. Okay. But yeah, after I got my first clients, you know, I started, you know, making content on YouTube and you know, I started making different tutorials on automation and started building that personal brand up. And that has really what has been giving me those book calls, really, you know, building a personal brand really, really, you know, transformed my, my business and in the terms that I just started booking calls every single day without me having to, you know, send out hundreds, hundreds of, of cold messages. And I'm going to go into cold messaging in a bit, but yeah, I, I got my first clients. Then I started doing a bunch of, you know, random email outreach and stuff like that, which didn't work of course. And I wasted a lot of money. I was a lot of money on, on, on software that I didn't need. And then I decided to start from scratch and, you know, build the YouTube channel and the YouTube channel. Let me highlight this because the YouTube channel was the key to, to signing, you know, over 10 clients, uh, in the last, in, in almost three months, you know, I started a YouTube channel and automatically started getting meetings, booked, messages on my LinkedIn, all the sort of stuff, uh, all from, from this YouTube, uh, funnel, right? Cause I started generating attention from YouTube. Then, you know, that attention went into my calendar, you know, and then I closed, but yeah, that that's definitely how I've been getting a lot of meetings. Uh, that's how I started getting a lot of meetings from the YouTube channel and about six, six months in, you know, started booking appointments actually even though I, there were, there were no consistency in it. You know, the, the YouTube, uh, brand definitely, definitely, uh, was a factor to the success of this, of this AI automation agency. But yeah, definitely what I did after that is I started seeing the gaps in the market, uh, cause you gotta see what kind of people you're dealing with at, you're dealing with. And what kind of problems are you solving? Right. And there's two options you can take right in the, in the automation space. So there's option one and there's option two, you can go niche down or you can go broad and serve a lot of type of clients. And what I did is I chose, uh, I chose drop. Okay. I started working with almost anyone, right? That came to me. I, I chose broad once I was six, six months in, this is a decision I would have made in the beginning. And this is one important decision you should make in all business you're starting. Either you were working with a niche or a broad. And in my case, I chose broad because there, I think there's a lot of opportunity in the software space, which I'm going to make a video on that. And I think it's a million dollar opportunity in, in the software space and in the Bellum developing specific solutions for a market and then, you know, building a software around that. And then, you know, you can sell the software, right? And I saw, I see a lot of people in the niche that do this, but aren't really talking about it. You know, most of the people in the AI agency space are in reality in kind of in a software space, but they don't really want to want to say it because it's, you know, it's a big opportunity and the opportunities that actually make money, they're not going to tell you. Okay. So yeah, I chose, uh, cho I chose uh, option two broad niche and you know, this, this, this option just lets you work with a lot of businesses. After I chose this, you know, I just kept working with, with these clients and then 
you know, it's six months in, eight months in, you know, started working with clients, starting developing systems. And we reached about a few months ago where I decided to, where I stopped actually booking meetings for my content. And, you know, it was like a plain state for the agency. I didn't gain any clients. I didn't lose any clients, but you know, if, if the client term was three months, you know, I lost a client. So I wasn't really making much, much money from, from that, from that, uh, from this point. Cause it was kind of a state three months, uh, where I was busy with school as well. Cause I'm a full-time student. Uh, and, and yeah, these three months was kind of re restructuring and, and seeing really what is the biggest opportunities in the space, et cetera, et cetera. And what kind of clients, uh, do I want to work with, which is right here, what I determined. Right after these three months, you know, I really, really, uh, built a plan. I built a plan to re completely rebuild a new funnel, a new funnel, a new website, a new, you know, bunch of BSLs, a lot, a lot of stuff that really attracted new clients, which I'm almost finished with right now. So I built a new, a new funnel that I set up, you know, like I said, a, a few, uh, a, about a month ago. And this funnel, uh, it's planned to bring me about 30 appointments, uh, per month. And you know, if it's 30 appointments per month, I have that calculated so that I'm making upwards of 10, $20,000 every single month. And this is through cold email. I'm booking email. Uh, I'm booking meetings through cold email and through content through LinkedIn. And yeah, that's basically the three things I'm doing right now to book meetings, to book over 30 appointments a month. That's what I'm doing right now. And I only developed this you know, set system after everything that happened right here, after having worked with, you know, over 10 clients, after having work, after having worked with your first client, after having, you know, to learn what kind of service are you doing? And the most important thing, you know, three months ago, everything that I was doing in this period right here is developing a good offer. Developing a good offer and a easy to, to, to understand offer for clients, which are not technical because mo most of your clients are not going to be technical, are not going to know what kind of solutions you're offering. What, what are, what the fuck are you saying? Right. With AI and all the fucking stuff, they don't know how to interact with an API. You would need to explain that to, to them in the most sincere and the most, uh, you know, straightforward way as possible. So yeah, you need to develop a good offer to then build a funnel around that offer, which I did right here. And, you know, have a, have a really, really good strategy to book appointments, to book over 30 appointments a month. You really just need to these two things, which is a good offer and appointments. How do you get a good offer by working with, with people, uh, with people, how do you work with people by doing outreach or by doing content at the beginning? just need to learn a specific skill, you know, reach out to your connections. That's what I did to gain for my first client. Then there, I learned the skill of automation with my first clients. They didn't pay me, but the, the amount of knowledge I gained from them was incredible. And that led me to, you know, create this funnel with books, which books me almost 30 appointments every single month. Right. But yeah, that's pretty much what I did the first year. This is the first, uh, kind of, 10 to 10 to 12 months of my AI and automations journey. So yeah, as you saw, that was a pretty straightforward beater right there. I will go, went over, you know, kind of how I got my first client, then, you know, how I scaled or, uh, after that, but yeah, it was, uh, that was it pretty much for, for my, for my, for my year. And I'm going to go over my funnel. I'm going to go over the million dollar opportunity that's in the AI and automation agency space, space that a lot of people are gatekeeping, but I'm going to share everything and all of my ideas, kind of what I have planned for the next, you know, couple of months with my agency in the next video. But, but yeah, 
let me know whatever you want you guys want me to create a video about uh you know let me know in the comments and yeah it's just you can subscribe or like i don't really care all right guys so that was all for today and thank you so much for watching Bye bye